Hey friends, I am back now with a huge homeschool haul. Ah, love homeschool hauls. So there's no curriculum per se in this haul. This is all homeschool, traditional like school supplies and some fun new fresh games for our game shelf. My homeschool curriculum that I have ordered for the 2018-2019 homeschooling year is on its way and that's gonna be a completely different video where I show you every single book, you know, the whole curriculum package and we go through all of my homeschool routines and plans and a bunch of homeschooling tips and all of that coming up so be looking for that also if you are new here go ahead and subscribe because I come out with new videos all the time around here about mega motherhood large family living homeschool in a big family and of course a ton of big family food so if you like that stick around anyway I'm gonna show you this table before me of homeschooling goodness so here is a quick overview of the table and you'll see my tower of road trip snacks because I just finished filming that haul for you guys I think that one's probably out now anyway I'm gonna start at this end of the table I went into Dollar Tree and again got lots of stuff for our road trip but my eyes are always peeled for I knew we needed more craft supplies and uh, so many things for our homeschool so I'm gonna jump in we have had a scissor drought all of the younger elementary age kiddos have been needing scissors so these two packs of scissors at Dollar Tree were just a dollar so we got 10 new pairs of scissors and that was a good five dollar investment we will definitely be needing these and at Walmart scissors were a buck for just a single pair so I was happy with that re-establishing our googly eye collection and some pom-poms for some impromptu craft projects we also got some foam stickers and then these little jewels and gems I know they will be hot glued and used for all kinds of creative things. I really like these book bins. You can organize so many different things in them. Right now in the other book bin that I have, I have construction paper and there are just many things I'm going to use these to organize on our homeschool shelves. Also, my younger crew, particularly Daniel, who's three and a half, Amelia, who's five and a half, and Liam, who is seven and a half. Lots of, those are my winter birthday kids. They're doing all the puzzles right now, all the puzzles, all the things. So obviously, Amelia can do this one. I figured she would do this one. Daniel's gonna work the Paw Patrol. Liam can do these, and Amelia will probably give these a go also. This is everything I got for our homeschooling life at Dollar Tree at this moment, but believe me, I'll go back other times for other things. But school-wise, these are the things that caught my eye this go-round. Also, the only thing I got at Hobby Lobby for our homeschool is this basket. The price tag says $12.99, but it was one of their 50% off deals. So I got this to organize things more on our IKEA homeschool shelves. So Walmart is setting out all of their school supplies. And of course, now if you wait until into August, and even if there's anything left beginning of September, their school supplies are gonna be even cheaper. I mean, I've gotten like notebooks there for five cents and ten cents and of course I'll buy cases of them like this size case and right now these colored pencils are 50 cents each but if you wait into August they'll be a quarter or less each so that's obviously an excellent time to stock up now other times of the year these are gonna be 97 cents each so I got several packs of these while they're 50 cents I will keep my eye out in August the thing is some years when I've waited for the sale prices to be even deeper you know if I get busy doing other things which it happens to me it happens to you some years I've totally missed it so I thought I'm gonna go ahead and grab the things while they're already at a good price now and then obviously I mean if I can go back in and get these for a quarter next month I will just be stocked up for the year if not happy to get it now so that's my colored pencil rant and just Walmart savings rant in general I got four of these 12 packs of Elmer's glue sticks I got four of these pencils and I love these and they come already sharpened we uh, we just a lot of consumable things here we will just rip through these and need more before you know it they also got us another pencil sharpener because you know pencil sharpeners they just totally disappear sometimes even the electric ones I have no idea right now where any pencil sharpener is in this house so got us another one we don't just get one tape dispenser I got four now these were four forty four a piece the reason I went with this little bit better brand is I had picked up some tape dispensers at the Dollar Tree they lasted for a bit you know and then they busted which was fine we got our use out of them but 
number one, when I went to Dollar Tree, they didn't have any. Number two, we still need tape, and I really like the dispensers because my kiddos love working with tape. Anyway, so I got four of them. That was like my homeschool mom investment for this coming homeschool year is to get tape dispensers. Now, I did not pick up the tape refills, so we shall see how long these last, but um, you know, good intentions, right? Then I love these Primary Journal Creative Story Tablets. Uh, these are just so fun to write stories in and to draw pictures, and we use these often. So I went ahead and bought a whole case because whenever they're more expensive when I go to order them on Amazon, and we will use them. So there you go, yay, I got a whole case of those now. I think I got 34 boxes of Crayola crayons and got a big old thing of construction paper to have some in reserve and then this was just a sweet little thing Liam wanted his own pack of construction paper so that's why I got this half size pack for him 120 pages I'm sure he will craft and create so many fun things so these are the things that I got at Walmart to get our homeschool year rolling also now at Target I was standing there in the notebook section because I had a phone call and I thought I wanted a fresh notebook for my homeschool planner that I'm going to print off. So I got that. And then the rest of this is just fun games. Yes, I consider games part of our homeschool. We love to do game schooling. So many good life skills can be worked out playing games. Oh, and then the spinograph, obviously not technically a game. This is a creative art tool that the kids have loved and used, and our other one has just been used until we've just lost all the little pieces, etc. So I got them a fresh one. I think this was $14.95. Sometimes, especially around Black Friday and Cyber Monday, you can get these for like half off on Amazon or other deals. But I, again, homeschool investment for the year. I like the kids to have lots of options of things to just to keep their hands and minds busy. This game is brand new for us, Yeti and My Spaghetti. Oh yeah, hey, get me out of my bowl. So I was laughing and picturing us playing this game. So I picked up Yeti and My Spaghetti. This was at Target. The Target games, they were all, they were all priced decently. And since we have unloaded our games from storage and gotten them on our shelves, I can see where there's games where we've lost some pieces. So uh, we got a fresh copy of Operation. We have never owned a Let's Go Fishing game, but my mom has one of these. And so the kids have played this before Four, and this was only like six dollars so we'll play that got us a fresh copy of mousetrap our box of mousetrap is just a has been used and loved for so many years we deserved a new fresh edition of mousetrap in our life the candy land and shoots and ladders they were like six dollars each and i thought you know because sometimes when we lose pieces then we'll have like our little homemade pieces so i thought we can do that we can have fresh cut versions of those then hungry hippos one of our kids got this several years ago and we need Needed a fresh fresh batch of hungry hippos there's some other games I want to go through and replace as well but again these are our getting ready and rolling for the new homeschool year treats so I'm going to go through now and I've been working on unloading some of our homeschool goodies into our new IKEA homeschool baskets and I'll show you how a few things turn out I'm waiting to really organize those shelves for once all my curriculum gets here so here's an example of what I'm doing at this point of course it may change but I have all the glue sticks here and the younger kids scissors because clipping and gluing usually go hand in hand and then in this basket I have the pom pom-poms some other pom-poms we had left and then here is a basket with pencils and erasers and then here is our big basket of crayons so thank you guys for watching I'm gonna tackle replacing games and weeding some games and finding some puzzle homes whoops and dropping things I will see you real soon with more homeschooling videos and I'll chat with you in those comments below bye bye